when you know you when you have scenarios like this and it is painted as the picture of twitter versus nigeria you miss the point that citizens are not saying i want to tweet because they love twitter they love twitter because it provides a platform for them to speak uh, it could have in any platform it could even be cool the one you know that k o that the government has now you know departed to uh almost like a desert where they are alone with no one listening to them it could be any platform but basically it is the need for citizens to express uh, their, their rights. And thankfully, the third sector, which is the nonprofit sector uh, in Nigeria, uh, has been supporting citizens in this. Paradigm Initiative and others are registered to protect citizens' interests. And that's why I thought it was important to write about the third party, which is citizens, and the third sector, uh, which, is, which is NGOs that are supporting citizens to go to court, uh, to you know, literally say we will not obey government uh, in this case because there are times when obeying tyranny is actually you acting against democracy. And we've put our feet down to say I will keep when Gashesan will keep tweeting. In fact, uh, my tweets have gone up about three hundred percent since June four. You know, you don't tell me what not to do. I have a right to speak using any platform of my choice. Um, if I commit a crime online, oh, fine, sue me uh, and let the law follow its course. But as long as I'm a citizen that has a right in a democracy, if I was in a kingdom or a, you know, a, you know, a non-democratic country, maybe I wouldn't say what I'm saying, but I live in the federal republic of a democratic Nigeria and I will assert my rights.